Good day everyone. In this video today, I will show you how to add share button to WordPress. So to do this, firstly, log into your WordPress dashboard. Then you can then go to plugin right here. Then click on add new plugin. So firstly, if you have Jetpack installed on your, if you have Jetpack installed, you can just activate their sharing option because they have the share option in their pack. As you can see, you just have to enable it. If you have Jetpack, you just have to enable it. Then you do some settings. But if you don't have Jetpack, you can use other one, which is this social sharing plugin, which is Sassy Social Share. As you can see, you can just search for Sassy social share let us place it right here so this is social share so here is it right here so the next thing for you to just to click on install then click on activate so when done with that you can then go to the settings of the plugin which you just install let's just go to the social as you can see just look on settings right here so as you can see right here here is the settings. This place, which is the icon preview, here is the type of icon you you will be using. If you want to change the icon to other one, which is square, rectangle, as you can see, you can select any one of your choice. You can even you can even change the size with this one right here, plus as you can see to increase. You can even minus to decrease, depending on how you want it. As you can see, you can have the color to the background and some other thing. So let's go to the next one. It is standard interface. Let's scroll down. So right now, here is what it will be showing on your share button in your post and on your home page. So to maybe you want to add more or you want to remove, what you have to do is just to come right down below right here and select any one of your choice. For example, let's say I click on WhatsApp. As you can see, WhatsApp has been, has been ticked already. So maybe I don't want the WhatsApp share button icon right there. I'll just click on it. As you can see right now, it has been removed. So to add it, I'll click on it. To add other ones, as you can see, you just have to select any one of your choice right here. So when done, you can then save it. You can save changes below. Also, okay. Also, you can select where you want those share icons to be. It should be on posts, it should be on pages. As you can see right here, you can select any other one of your choice if you want to, if you if you need them. So that's just what you need in these settings. In this floating start interface, as you can see, the floating also you can select more if you want. So when done, just click on save. When done with the settings, just click on save changes. So when it's finished saving, you can then visit your website. Let's just visit the website right here. Open a new tab. So as you can see right here, the share icon has been added. So when we scroll down, let's let's click on one of these posts right here. So right now, as you can see, the link which I added last has been also has also been added to it. So that's all to do this. Hope this video helped. Please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.